This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. And of course, this is where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories, bring you very interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. And of course, we analyze them all for you. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have Michael and Kasumi Ife Omai and Ife Olu Hi. Hmm, all right. <laughs> <laughs> mm. no, like, I have the slides. weekend is drawing closer. Eh? Slides? What? Ick. Hmm. The weekend ah, is drawing But it's tomorrow. Now, right? By tomorrow, it's a go. Hey. We're getting ready to roll into the streets. I was like... Like, you guys have forgotten that Saturday is... Um, it's yeah. what? Yeah. Mm. What? Mm. Wait, what? It's not going to stop what God has planned for tomorrow. Hallelujah! <laughs> oh, for tomorrow? Yeah. Hey. Oh, there's a plan for tomorrow. By the grace of How God. How come I'm yeah. not carried along? Uh -uh. There'll be a... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll carry you. Don't worry. Thank God it's, 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 you have witnesses. You also have the day now. The day has not um, finished now. Don't... don't. don't jump into conclusions. Did you, did you care? Come off it, my dear. That's what they will say now. It's just because they're on camera. Moving on <laughs> real quick. Um, mm. <laughs> the weekend gives $300,000 to global aid for mm -hmm. Lebanon to assist victims victims of explosion in the country's capital of Beirut on August 4, which killed more than 200 people and destroyed a central area of the city. With major donations to coronavirus relief, Black Lives Matter and social justice organizations, um, his Lebanon donations bring his total charitable contributions to the sum of um, $2.15 million in just over two months. Mm. Hmm. Weekend. Hmm. No, he has the money. He's putting, and I like the fact that he's actually making positive impact with his money. He's not just doing charitable stuff that mm. you can say they're they're for clout. You mm. get they're actually for a good cause. Black Lives Matter, the Beirut thing, and all that. Like this are very important stuff, and these people genuinely need, need help. the help. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's amazing what he's doing. You know, a lot of people judge people by their music because if you listen to Weekend's kind of music, his lyrics really do not connote somebody <laughs> who should be charitable. What Maybe charitable exactly. in bed. Wow. He thinks about if, uh, being charitable. Are you trying to say people that are sexual <laughs> are not charitable? Like, you know, so. Relax your mind. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is that if you he's listen to... He's not thinking to, about how he wants to give to the, to, uh, to the world. Yeah, he's thinking about how he wants to give how to somebody. How many people sing... <laughs> <laughs> you know, is, you is there it. any philanthropist that thinks it's about how they want to give money out? Their You're songs. the world, hmm. make it a better uh, place. And that's one out of his song. Which one again? Uh, White Left John, Haiti. Mm -mm, we're talking about one person. What? That keeps singing about <laughs> how he's giving money. <laughs> <laughs> that way he will not make the money to give. Animation of though. any bala. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lua. Anyway, kudos, kudos you know? to the weekend and everyone who is donating for um, the people um, in Beirut. Because, I mean, that explosion is still scary when I think about what I saw um, in the news. And, um, I mean, a lot of people are doing what they can. And, of course, the weekend, we are talking about the weekend because he's an entertainer. And, of course, we talk about entertainment on mm. this program. So, shout out to everyone who is doing the little they can, whether being their presence or just giving as, as they can. It is, it's amazing. I just want yeah. to say, um, sound like a Nigerian. Now, God replenish mm. their pockets. Yeah, I think 10, everything folks. that you guys have said, I'm also happy that the black americans are not stopping at black lives matter mm -hmm. i've seen a lot of people um you know accuse the black americans of mm. sometimes just making everything about race and everything about their struggles or whatever but it's good to see that it's actually not true and that when the when it really counts they also involve themselves in other people's struggles and yeah. things like that because a lot of people showed up for the black lives mm -hmm. matter that mm -hmm. were not black so i'm i like that that has also been um, shared back to those other, to, uh, yeah, world. yeah. Mm -hmm. I appreciate. It. I also really liked the write up from the um, weekend. The weekend's manager, okay. actually, the person that is actually from Lebanon, which mm -hmm. so it was close to home for him. And I liked how he said that that he's a lot of the things that he's grateful for about working with weekend is because he's such a woke person in regards to uh, absorbing other people's experiences mm -hmm. that people mm -hmm. around him and stuff. And I like that. I like that, you know, fame or wealth or whatever hasn't got him so detached from reality that he can still feel the struggles of other people and do something about it. And I know that a lot of other people have also been giving, maybe it won't get to the news because there's not a lot of zeros, mm -hmm. but I know there's a lot of people that mm -hmm. have given the little that they can 
to the cause as well. I know I have supported in ways that I, I, I can as well, but it, I like when sometimes um, you see humanity coming together like this. Yeah. It's really, it's really <clears> dope. And definitely, on my way home today, I'm going to stream the weekend. To, so you're saying I'm to, going to send my own quota to Lebanon. <laughs> <laughs> Streaming the weekend means that I'm sending money to his account that he has sent to them. But I don't understand. It's cool. It's cool. Anyway, moving uh, on from on, that's man. trying to shade me. <laughs> 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 we have talked about male artists in the industry dropping or about to drop new album um in this year 2020 from olamide to Bonner boy fire boy and others however the ladies are not entirely left behind as dj copy and niniola are set to release an album um each as well niniola teases fans with upcoming album which she seems to have titled colors and sounds while dj copy will be dropping an album on the 21st of august titled original sound um let's original take a look copy. Original copy, the sound <laughs> from the law. Let's take a look at um, her teaser video. I'm super excited. I feel like I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. And I just hope people take the time to listen to every single one of the 12 songs. I work on original copy. And I think it's time for people to give me a real chance as a creative, as an artist, as a self-made woman, I think it's time, and I'm ready. Shout out to DJ Copy. Are we ready? Wait, I, <laughs> I mean, I'm beginning to love her more and more. I like the efforts. Whether you put like her or not, she's not stopping. She's mm. here to stay, so mm. you better like her. But there are two things I'm taking out of that video. First is when she said that people will now begin, she hopes that people begin to see her as a real artist now. Mm. So it seems until knew that she was playing all mm. the while. But when she now says she's self-made, mm. I don't understand. What the, what's the meaning of self-made? Is it self-made in terms of the music, industry. in terms of industry? Yeah. That's where she's self-made. Mm. Okay. Even that one said we can question it. We can uh, question it. I don't but, mm. but in as much as we can question it without resilience, without hard work, she won't get anywhere. She may be privileged to be able to do all those things. Yes, we agree. They, though he's privileged, but we still agree that he's very hardworking and he's, and um, he's persistent. And um, is he, did, have you just seen a celebrity? <laughs> have you just seen a celebrity <laughs> story <laughs> where he told you that he had his own story? Everybody has a story. What is self-made? Self-made in the sense that as a DJ, it wasn't probably she's. Femi Otedola's daughter, mm -hmm. a billionaire. Mm. He probably doesn't want his daughter to be a Whoa. DJ. Wait, when, when did now, that I'm saying like, he probably didn't want, okay, maybe this I said something. He, he probably didn't and want I his daughter. He first writing the script as mm. a Relax now, didn't want his daughter to be. Jerry, relax. Wait. That's not what happened. We are watching <laughs> them. This, probably, this is the father that supported his daughter. So don't do probably you know when he started supporting? Do you know the conversation? So because you because have a struggle the in your story, does that mean that you're self-made? Again, what is self Yes. Okay, let's move to the album. Me, yeah, I'm sure looking forward to the album. I don't, know about, there, I, I, don't, I don't know about the, you guys. Come on, face. <laughs> come on, face. <laughs> let's see the album. I think if I hear the album um, properly and I like, I do. I follow the instructions and listen to it diligently. Mm -hmm. And maybe I can say that she has put a lot. I mean, your father cannot sing for you. Your, the money cannot sing for you. Yeah. So obviously, she has to put herself into <laughs> it. <laughs> so let's 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 but see that first. Some bangers. You guys know that. Course, she does. Ah, to she does. This album. Of course, she in your last well, I want to believe that she's going to make us proud. I don't think it's yeah, yeah. probably a. Yeah, I can. I feel like I already know what to expect. Mm -hmm. All right, don't so, vibe. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I, I want to see the music videos of that one because i know she makes a lot I, f I feel like she makes a lot of effort when yeah. it comes to entertaining her fans and things like that so i'm looking forward to that i already know who i'm dealing with in terms of self self-making <laughs> but um I'm, I'm open i'm very open to, to you agree she's self-made though yeah. mm -hmm. who's that who Daniela. Yeah. Okay. This is yeah. self -made thing. We'll have to create another episode for this conversation, but yeah. Yeah. as far as I'm concerned, Auntie is not self-made. Um, it's time to go on a very quick break, but when we come back, it's going to be an interesting conversation with one of the evicted Big Brother Niger housemates, and Ife Omai will be doing us the honors. Mm -hmm.